Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is my SQL Shorts. Before we get started with demonstrating how to dump and restore data using MySQL Shell, we need to verify that the global variable named local in file is set to on. We do this by running the query show global variables like local in file. Note we are still in JavaScript mode, but we can run a query by prefacing the command with backslash SQL. If the local in file variable is set to off, we can turn it on by running the command backslash SQL set global local in file equals on. For this demo, I'm using multiple sandbox instances I set up with MySQL shell. For information on how to set up sandbox instances, check out episode 20. You can see I'm connected to an instance that is running on port 3333. We will show the schemas by running the command backslash SQL show schemas. We can see the system schemas, as well as the MySQL shorts and Sequila schemas. To dump data for the entire service instance, we use the command util.dump instance. In this example, we're using just a single argument, the path to where the dump files will be exported. You can see we are using a folder named instance-dump in the dumps folder under my user's root directory. I should note that when you use instance dump, the system tables are not included. When the command has completed, we'll see information about the dump. Now we switch to the other sandbox instance using backslash C root at localhost colon 4444. Once connected, we run the show schemas command. As we can see, only the MySQL system schemas are present on this instance. To load the data into this new instance, we use the util.loadDump method. For this demo, we're using a single argument, which is the path to the folder where the dump files were exported. We would also use util.loadDump for loading data that was dumped using util.dump schemas or util.dump tables. After the command is finished, we will see information about the data load. Let's run the show schemas command again to verify the data load. Now we see the MySQL shorts and Sequila schemas are both listed. You may want to use a more comprehensive verification process to ensure the data was loaded as expected. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we use during this video.